Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. So, we love when news happens while I'm at hockey practice. It's it's, it's great. Um, <laughs> eventually, hey, in two years, we won't have to deal with this. I will be out of hockey. Probably. But regardless, <laughs> uh, the Minnesota Wild have fired head coach Dean Evison and have hired John Hines. Now, it's funny because in the history of me doing this channel, I like to keep track of, like, you know, what coaches have been fired and not. Uh, this is the second coach that Minnesota has fired since I started uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, Boudreaux was fired in my first year in 2020, and now Dean Evison's been fired um, towards the end of my fourth year um, in 2023. So, you know, I was actually going to make a video on Minnesota today. Like, right now, I was supposed to talk about Minnesota and their overall direction. Um, I'm probably still going to do that, make a whole video on the team. This is going to be mainly focused on the coach. Um, but there will be some parts that I bring up in tomorrow's video about Minnesota. So, Wild fans, I guess, whether you're happy or not, I'm making content for you. So, there you go. Um, but, regardless, um, I mean, I guess it's the best thing that Garen can do. Garen doesn't have a whole lot of options. Um, I'm going to say that. The cap space isn't there. Um, he really can't go out and make a move or anything like that. Um, and as well as that, too, um, I saw this argument with the Oilers a lot. I didn't bring it up in my Oilers-related videos. But, like, you know... They see that, like, let's use Edmonton, for example. They see that Edmonton needs a goalie, um, or in Minnesota's case, maybe they need, like, a defenseman. I'm not saying they do, but if they want to go out and make a move and teams see that they desperately need a certain type of player or position, like the goaltending, for example, at Edmonton, which Minnesota could play a role in that, too, but like the goaltending at Edmonton, you really think that, like, if they call up Philadelphia and ask them for Carter Hart, even though the price would be high already. Like, are, are, do you really think they're just going to give them heart that easily? Or a better example would be maybe they call up, like, Arizona. They ask for Corellas, Melka, or Connor Ingram. Ingram just shut out the best team in the league. One of the best teams in the league um, a few days ago. You really think Arizona is going to give up Ingram that easily? So, yeah, like, that plays a factor there, too. And then salary cap as well. So, I, I think Garen's taking some accountability for that. I think he realizes that. Like, they, they really can't do much because of their caps constraints. So, this is kind of the best thing they can do. It is what it is. Um, and I honestly haven't watched enough Minnesota hockey to really deem myself and say that, oh, yeah, Evison's the problem and all that. If I look at if I look at the stats on paper, I think it's the goaltending. The goaltending looks like the issue for me. Um, maybe the depth scoring, the defense has had some injuries. Um, there are some factors that do play into this, but... You know, Everson, sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes it really is just a change of scenery for a coach. Like, you saw Bruce Cassidy in Boston. Um, it just wasn't working anymore. Not that Cassidy was a bad coach. Um, it just wasn't working there anymore in Boston. So maybe that's the case in Minnesota, too. However, they hired John Hines. And I feel like Hines, no disrespect to Hines, but I feel like he's a downgrade from Everson. I feel like with this hiring, they're kind of giving up. They kind of are because for the longest time, John Hines was the Predators coach and they were kind of a mediocre team for a while. They weren't that good. They made the playoffs a few times in a row, but they weren't anything special. Um, And then as well as that too, like before that previously, he wasn't that experienced Um, otherwise, but like they, he, I feel like with this move, they're giving up on the season. And understandably so like I I've had a few times in my, um, making my videos where I've doubted Minnesota, where I've said some things about Minnesota that maybe weren't true. Maybe were over-exaggerated. And like, I may have underrated them at points. Like last year, I definitely did. I thought Gustafson was overrated. And looking back, I'm kind of right. But, you know, back then, I didn't really think they were all that. And I got a lot of bad comments, but they really deserve the credit back then. And heading into this part of the year, they started off last year pretty rough too. So that's why I was a little bit lenient on Minnesota currently. And I was like, all right, they can probably pull out of this. Um, I'm sure they'll be okay. Um, but then it just, it got, it got worse. Like they're just, they just keep losing. They can't seem to beat any team right now. They've lost seven straight games at time recording this video. They've lost seven in a row. So that, and I, I will say this too. We'll mention this in the video later on today or later tomorrow, but there are five day and four day breaks in there. So that plays a factor, but you know, I feel like maybe the coaching change is what they needed. Maybe it's not, but anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. Um, regardless, we'll make a video on the Wild more in depth tomorrow. This is only like a five-minute snippet of what I could talk about. Um, I really was looking forward to making this video, um, but this happened. So at least it's a Wild video. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.